April 28, 2023. He killed my cats. Who does that? He's an animal killer. And he steals from his handyman clients. Hmm. So, I'm back in Oregon after leaving Eugene. What the fuck? I'm back in Oregon. Okay, God, here we go. Tell me what you have in store for me. How did this happen? Well, hmm, I married a sexual predator and a pedophile. Found out my daughter was raped at the tender age of 6 to 10 years of age. And I just fucking left Maryland. Fuck Maryland. Fuck my handyman city of Brunswick, Maryland employee husband. Fuck it all. I have five remaining children. And you know what? I need to be there for them. My soon-to-be ex-husband didn't give a rat's ass about my kids. He actually called my two older boys shitheads constantly. And he killed their cats. The cats were special because they were emotional support animals for my boys. Well, and we loved them. They were our family. And well, who the fuck kills innocent cats? Cody and Lola. That was their names. And he killed them. When I came home to find that my cats were gone, I was devastated. And so were my kids. They begged me to leave Jeff. My then boyfriend, now husband. But I stayed. So my boys packed up and left for Oregon with their father. Because literally, why are you staying with a man who killed our cats? I had no answers for them. Anyone that can kill innocent cats is a psycho, in my opinion. But still, I loved him. These cats were foster cats, and they were traumatized at birth from seeing their mom die. They were brother and sister, and they just cuddle each other all day long. And were very timid about going outside. In fact, they had never been outside during the entire two years we had them. I tried to acclimate them to going outside, but they were too timid. So I left it alone, and I left them to cuddle each other, looking out the windows at the birds each day. After an argument one night, Jeff wanted to get back at me, and he killed them. I literally have no words for someone who can brutally kill cats. But hey, he told me that at a tender age, his dad made him kill his own dog. Well, shoot the dog. So where... Well, there you have it. He's an animal killer. I think he killed his grandson's bunny and told his grandson it died of natural causes. But it didn't. He killed the bunny too. He did. Thinking about my marriage, I am reminded of being with an abusive husband for over 15 years. And I kept making up excuses to stay with him. Well, I am officially done with excuses. Fuck excuses and fuck lame ass men who lie, cheat, and steal. I'm going back to church, honestly. When I realized that my husband, the handyman, steals jewelry from his clients, I made excuses for him. He would bring me stolen jewelry that I knew he didn't buy. Yet I stayed. He stole an engagement ring from a handyman client of his sent me a photo of it, said he bought it, but then decided to pawn it for drugs, and told me he lost the ring in his truck. What the fuck? Yeah, I bought my own ring and still married him. Hell, he stole the engagement ring that I bought for myself because I would take it off at night and put it by my bedside. One morning I woke up and he said he didn't know where it was. Then a week later he gave it back to me, only because I told him he would have to pay for another one. He's a thief, woman beater, and a sexual predator? What the fuck? He would smash my laptop, two of them, and my iPhone, two of them, against the wall in angry rages, and I had to buy them all over again. He would punch walls, well, holes in the walls, yes, and in the doors, and demolish my last apartment. Yet, I stayed. Why? Because I thought I loved him. I paid for my own engagement ring. I paid for my own wedding ring. I did everything for him. And he did absolutely nothing for me. 
yet I stayed and loved him. Why? Well, because I thought I loved him. Funny thing, I went on a date last night, and I realized I didn't really, I didn't really love Jeff. I love the feeling I got from him, and maybe perhaps he was just a bucket list kind of thing. Perhaps I needed this experience to show me the truest, darkest side of individuals. What the fuck? Individuals. I can't speak today. Because he is a very, very dark. And perhaps, well, he's a very, very dark individual. And perhaps that was exciting for a while, but it gets old. That feeling was just pure hormonal sexual chemistry and nothing more he didn't care about my life my goals my work my ambitions or my children or even my thoughts about anything he never spent any time with my now eight-year-old in the two years that i was with him not one single day yet said he loved him and my son called him dad And guess what? After two years of my son being with him, he didn't make one single phone call to him or care about how he is he doing since I left town over a month ago. He only cared about himself. Dare I say he's a narcissist. He only cares about his own sexual deviance, his needs, him, 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 and him. Love is action. Love is showing. I showed him my love by making his lunches at 4 a.m. every morning, making him coffee, and cooking him wonderful dinners. He was never home to eat because he was always at the bar after work. I showed him I loved him by asking him to spend more time with me, but he begrudged me for just wanting to be with him. God, I sound pathetic. Literally, I just wanted to cuddle and binge watch Netflix movies on the weekends. Pathetic? No. If it is a real marriage, that is what married couples do. They don't have a husband at the bar every night on the prowl. That's single life. Jeesh. Oh, God. I'm going easy on myself here. Again, love is not just a word. I realized that even though he said the words, I love you. And just like my dad, the career bank robber, saying, I love you more. And just like my dad saying, I love you around the world. Whatever. It's all bullshit. Jeff never really loved me. And I finally realized I never really loved him. I love that feeling I got from being in his arms. That feeling of daddy's little girl that I used to feel. When my dad would hold me in his arms. It's just a feeling. And it's fleeting. And trust me, it can be found again. With someone with an intellect. Someone who cares about who the fuck I am. Someone who actually buys my engagement ring and my wedding ring. Someone who isn't a liar, a thief, or a cheater, or a pedophile. And with someone who doesn't want his dick and random women every week. Yes, love is an action, not just a word. And someday I will find it. It won't be an act of desperation, but I'm awesome. Yeah, I'm awesome as fuck. And love will find me and it will find you too.